Hello guys, okay, let's continue working on the flag. Today I think uh, we will finalize the lighting. As you may remember, previously I said that I really like the result we have now, except uh, it's too flat regarding to lights and shading. So let's make it more realistic, more in 3D space by adding some lights. I came up with a nice technique, I don't know if anyone knows it or works with that uh, technique. So I prepared three images, very simple, I don't need, uh, I don't think you need to be an artist to prepare them in Photoshop, okay. So three images, same ratio as the flag, flag is a little bit bigger but because I scaled it, here you can see the scale, but uh, the image size is actually exactly the same. Okay, so you may see that the first is uh, just a gradient, white to transparent, where white is on left, second image white is in the middle, and here we have it on right. I will gradually animate them and uh, transition from alpha to dark color uh, that will uh, make them just the brighter and darker so I think we will end up with a nice result okay so let's uh, duplicate this uh, mesh three times okay let's rename it okay so now we have three exactly same mesh also bound to the same bones uh, okay let's make it a little bit transparent for all of them I think here uh, it, it, it actually uh, dims a little bit the flag you may see that it's it lost its color the flag I wouldn't like to make it additive blending because uh, I want to work on the also black side so when I we make it additive I don't think we can color it black let me see like so if I color it black we can see it works fine with the normal blending but at the moment when I change to additive okay so I can make it black so let's work with uh, <coughs> normal blending mode uh, later, if we want, we can also create another sheet for shadows and only keep blending modes additive for brighter parts. But for now, let's go with uh, this setup. Uh, it will be a little bit dim on bright side, but it's it's fine. I think you will get the idea. So let's start from the left. Uh, okay, let's make it bright, like like so, and at the middle, let's make it dark. Maybe more dark or work. Okay. So okay, so let's let's see. This at this moment, at this moment, this part should be the darkest because it is in the farthest point away from the camera. You may see that this at this moment it is actually the brightest point. Maybe this. So let's offset it, make here four frames. Let's pick up the middle mesh. Okay, fixing it here. Uh, again, let's, let's do it bright, brightest here. Okay. Uh, let's do the darkest. Um, I would like to make more darker, darker here. Uh, so because it is, uh, it it actually goes farther than uh, the, this. This part goes actually farther from camera than this part, so we will make it uh, much darker than the first, the left one. So okay, let's let's see where it goes the farthest, where it's farthest point from the camera. I think uh, here it is the okay. No, let's if that can this can work. So since this is our far uh, darkest point. We will need to just move it here. And let's see.
I think I, I, I need to shift this because I forgot that the brightest part was here so this this can work actually okay the last one uh, the right one actually does all works the same we again just need to fix the brightest point uh, maybe a little brighter than the previous ones and uh, make it dark here much darker because it's it almost uh, get lost in the 3d space so very far from the other parts okay let's see where it goes the farthest point from the camera I'm looking on this part and I'm just checking where it is the farthest from the camera I think it's about here okay so our farthest point is here let's move it here okay and that's it I think now we may have a very nice shading here as I told you previously the whites are making flag dim but this can be fixed easily we just need to duplicate uh, this uh, and use them only for white regions and not make them darker but make them transparent from white to transparent full transparent and uh, use another tree for only shadows the first tree will be used as uh, will be planned as additive additive you can see that when I you make them additive actually we are getting nice bright parts but now we are losing our darker areas like uh, this mesh can't be darkened because the calculation of its blending so that's why we will uh, currently keep <coughs> in normal mode but you get the idea you can easily just duplicate them and make them additive okay I think uh, it's it, it looks good okay uh, I don't think I will continue working on this flag I don't see anything but if you want to improve or want to use in your own projects uh, I would suggest you to add some bones on the edges also and uh, move them up and down so it, it actually starts to collapse like this uh, this will make very natural effect also I would suggest adding another bone on the tip so you can actually uh, you may see that we don't have it but when flags go far uh, actually it can <coughs> have uh, some curved part here like, like this so it curves and then curves back like this when it comes when it comes here so you may also make that uh, possible with just adding one bone and moving separately in, in different but again this technique can be used to achieve not only flags also you can make uh, swimming fish or uh, I don't know any other material uh, similar to or soft or similar to clothes and uh, um, regarding to that particular animation you you will need to do adjustments uh, let me know if you need uh, if you have any questions in comment I will be happy to answer them see you next time